Hello and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can jump a charging IC easily. Okay. So let's assume that you have the phone. Customer brings you uh, the phone <coughs> with a charging issue. Okay. So in most cases, the first thing we do is replacing the charging port. Okay. This guy here. So you replace this guy, and after replacing the charging port, you still the phone not charging okay so after that you come and test on this point here on this point here because this is v bus okay you test on the v bus you have five volts okay which means this port is okay okay now <coughs> you have five you have five volts on the v bus okay so you come to you come to this connector right here, the charging flex connector. You come to test, you also have 5 volts, okay, right on this leg here. Because this is, again, V bus, okay, you have 5 volts, okay. <coughs> so now, you go to the motherboard, you go to the motherboard, you connect the, you connect the flex, the screen flex, and you have 5 volts okay so now you realize okay the charging flex is okay the charging board is okay and the charging port is okay so maybe the problem is on the on the motherboard okay so where else do you go so where else do you go after here <coughs> okay you after realizing okay after realizing you have five volts on the vbus on the motherboard so where else do you test you come to the charging connector you come to the charging connector on the vbat this is vbat and you test so to test on the vbat maybe you have two volt or zero volt or one volt or three volt okay all these voltages cannot charge the battery okay but they will give you different scenarios and which scenarios are they okay for example if the phone on the battery connector vbat is giving you two volts one volt zero volt this phone not charging at all okay or else you test and you get three volts three point two or three point five okay you have this voltage the phone is charging okay the phone will charge but with maybe zero point five amps okay or 0 0.2 amps okay yes the phone is charging but battery percentage will not increase okay and these are different scenarios that can happen or maybe the customer can bring you the phone and tells you my phone is charging but the battery cannot increase so always test and see how many voltages are you getting on the battery connector okay so these voltages cannot charge the battery. The right voltage to charge the battery, we said 4.2 voltage, 4 voltage, okay? So, <clears throat> now, what do you do after here? So, you are now going to track the voltage and see where the problem is. And from the past video, we said there are basically two presses or two ICs where this voltage gets to, okay? For example, right on this bitmap, when I click on the VBUS, it will show you the VBUS line. And it will show you where the voltages go to from the charging connector. Okay? Okay. So you can see right here, the, this line goes through OVPIC. This is the very first IC uh, that the battery voltage will go to. And we said from the last video, we said this stands for over voltage protection. 
So basically this is to protect the circuit. Okay. So now from this now <coughs> from this IC where does it go to? Okay, so these are the input, uh, these are the input lines. So this should be the output lines for this for the OVP, okay? And the output goes directly to the charging IC, okay? So <coughs> This is the charging IC, and if we trace it on the on the layout, okay, on the layout, it should be right here, okay. So here it is. So you copy this and bring it to the schematics, and you search, okay. <coughs> this is it right here. You can see from the OVP. You can see from the OVP, it goes directly to. The charging IC, okay. And from the last video, we said inside the charging IC, V system is formed or VPH for the matter. And after VPH forms, one line goes back to the IC, and after switching, it creates the charging outline, okay. And the charging outline goes to the V bat to charge the battery. So now. <coughs> After this, you have to trace and know where exactly you lost the voltage, okay? Now, from the previous video, we said all these components can go bad, okay? The ice can go bad or you can even lose the reel itself to the battery. Or maybe this line is broken somewhere and that's why you, get, you are not getting the voltage on the battery connector. So you have to trace and know where the problem exactly is. So, now... <clears throat> the thing that you have to do, you come on the charging outline and take note of the components on this line and see if they are getting the required 4.2 voltage, okay? So, for example, for example, on this line, you come on the charging outline and look for one of these cups that are connected on the, on the output of the charging outline, okay? Now, you copy this. And, um, and bring them to the layout, okay? Trace where they are. <coughs> okay? So, and these are the cups. These are the two cups, and they are right above the battery connector, and these two diodes, okay? Let's come to the, let's come to the, to the bitmap, to the board, smart board. <coughs> okay, battery connector. So, these are the two cups, okay? And if you click on these two cups, you can see, you can see the line, okay? This is the line, and it comes directly from the charging, from the charging IC, okay? So, if you test, now, if you test these cups, and you're getting 4.2 volts, it means, it means, the power, the charging IC is okay, okay? But if you test on these cups and you don't get 4.2 voltage, you may be get, you may be get 0 0.5 or 1 volts, then you will know that the problem is the charging IC, okay? <coughs> okay, so you realize that the problem is the charging IC. What are you going to do? Okay, so here are the solution. So, charging IC dead, this is what you are going to do. You can either do any of the three. One, you can reboil this IC. If it is not shorted, you can reboil this IC. Or you can replace this IC. Or you can jumper. Okay? Now, <coughs> Remember, this is on a working phone, okay? This phone is okay. It is powering on, it is working, but the problem is on, re on the charging, on the charging lines, okay? Now, in most cases, if this IC is shorted, the phone will be completely dead, okay? Because this is, because, let me show you again. Because this is the IC that generates VPH, okay? And it is VPH that powers on the phone, okay? You can see, right here we have the boot cup, 
and we have the boot coil and after the boot coil vph is formed okay so without this cap your phone will not work if this cap is short the phone will not work but something can happen maybe you lose some balls under the ic and the charging outline is not formed but other parts of this ic are working okay so that's where you can jump up the ic but if you don't have VPH formed and the phone is completely dead, so you realize this IC is the one that has a fault, so you can go ahead and replace or reball. Okay? Okay? Hope we are together. Okay, we are good. <coughs> so, how are you going to jumper this IC? Okay, so how to jumper this IC? The very simplest way to jump at this IC is jumping from V bus directly to V bud. Okay? <coughs> and it works very effective and the most easy one. Okay? So here let me show you. You take a jumper from the V bus right here on the test point. So you take a jumper directly to the V but test point okay <coughs> so with this jumper you'll be good to go your phone will start charging perfectly fine now what's the problem with this the problem with this is one when you do this your phone will be on self charging okay self charging forgive my hand right here now when you jump at this v bus directly to v bud your phone will start self charging immediately without inserting the charger and that's the nightmare you never want to give the customer back the phone when is on self charging now when this other circuit is okay your phone is not going to go on self charging because there are a lot of diodes mosfets and bridge electrifiers on these circuits okay for example this charging ic has a mosfet built inside the ic so that's why you don't get the phone self charging in normal conditions but when you take a jumper like i'm showing you when you take a jumper from the v bus to v bus <coughs> This, the phone will start charging, but the current will flow back. Okay, so the current will come back to the battery, charge, and then again flow back. So it's kinda going through both directions. Okay, the current is going through both directions. Now, if you don't want to, if you don't want to jumper from the V bus right on the motherboard, you can as well as take a jumper. You can as well as take a jumper from the V bus right on the on the charging board on the charging connector. You can take a jumper from there. Okay, as long as you check there is five volts. Okay. Alternatively, you can also take a jumper from this diode. Okay, there is this diode right here. Also has five volts, so you can take a jumper also to the v to the v but okay <clears throat> and all is going to work perfectly fine you don't want this you can also take a jumper from from this leg right here the five volt leg so you jump at this to v to v but also is going to work the same but remember your phone is on self charging okay so how do you solve that how you solve that is by use of a small component an smd component called a diode okay <coughs> okay so this is the component that we are going to use so most of you i understand you know about diodes and diodes work by giving one way to electric current okay so this is so this is the diode and you have the anode side and the cathode side okay so right here you have the positive and here you have the negative okay 
So what a dial does is that it lets the electric current flow through to one direction. So the moment it flows this side, it cannot flow back because there is a bridge right here. And that's why in most cases, diodes are drawn this way. Okay. So basically, the current will go through like this, but it will not back from. Okay. So this is the best functioning of a diode. <coughs> so wherever you see a diode is always going to be marked. So the marked side is the negative or the cathode. Okay. And, and the unmarked side is the positive or the anode. Okay. So these are the types of diodes that you can use to jump at this. Okay. Let me show you. This is one. <coughs> now they are what we call SMD diodes, like this, okay? They also have a mark on the cathode, okay? Or the negative side. The positive side, not marked, okay? Similarly, still the same, the same thing. This is cathode, this side is anode. So, <coughs> the moment you let it through the electric current, it will just flow in one direction. So you will not have the back flow. Just like valves, okay? So what you do is <coughs> you want to come and bring in this, this diode and the middle of your circuit. And the middle of your jumper, sorry. And the middle of the jumper. So you bring in this. Now, how are you going to connect it? What is the flow of your current? In other words, how is your current going to flow? Okay? So, of course, your current is flowing from positive. Sorry. Your current is flowing from V bus to, to V bat. Okay? So, ideally, the current is flowing like this. And we said a diode only allows current to flow through one direction. So it is always like this. So, so if the current is flowing in one direction through the diode, so which side is going to be the anode and which side is going to be the, uh, the cathode? Okay. So let's look back on the, on the diodes. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so this is the diode, and we said right from the right from the picture from the an, from from the diodes we see power flows from anode to cathode, and it cannot flow from the cathode to anode. So which side is going to be on the V bus? Okay, which side is going to be on the V bus? The anode side. Okay, so it means. On your jumper to the V-bat, you are going to bring in your diode in this way. Okay? This is the diode. Okay? This is the, the diode. And this is the anode. Okay? And this is the cathode. So it means bring in your jumper, V-bus, to V-bat. Now, after putting the jumper, Break the jumper, break the jumper and bring in your, and bring in your, your diode. Okay? So this is cathode, this is anode, because power is flowing this side. Okay? So the marked, the marked side of the diode is going to be this side, which is the cathode. Okay, so when you do this, your phone self charging resolved. Okay, and your voltage on the V bat is restored. Okay, so you basically jumped the charging IC. 